What's up, Team DMS? It's the Master Stylist, and I'm back with another video. So you guys remember this girl? Well, she went from that to this. And so we're going to delete that color <laughs> using Joyco's Color Intensity Eraser. <laughs> and um, it didn't remove everything uh, except the pink, but it was okay because she still wanted the pink. So it worked out. And we used about four different purples and then I also customized those customized those purples by um, adding white to two of them and changing the color no I did not do a video on the color application um, me and color is just you know I do it but I'm not a colorist so I know a lot of people ask me about you know doing color videos but maybe in the future but not right now but I did give y'all a little sneak peek on, you know, how I put it in, um, the placement of the color. So that should be good enough, right? <laughs> And so I'm going to spray uh, a Firm's Anti-Fade Spray. I believe that's what it's called. And it actually worked. I noticed the clients that I do use it on, their color lasts a lot longer um, than it did when I didn't use it. And it's also a leave-in conditioner. So that's like a great thing because when doing vivid colors, they do tend to fade faster than when you're doing, you know, like other colors. So... These bright, beautiful colors, they are high maintenance. They do not last. And of course, I am using Main Mint Foam. It is available at MainLifeStudio.com. Make sure you guys don't skip the video and ask me the same thing in the comments. It is Main Mint Foam. <laughs> and it's the best foam out, okay? And if I sound like I am asleep, y'all, I am probably asleep because... I'm doing this video like early in the morning. I literally jumped out of, out of my bed to do this voiceover. So, yeah, this is how much I love y'all. See what I'm doing? Like, I'm 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 losing sleep. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get her molded down, get her under the dryer and everything. Um, I'm just doing like a little mold around her perimeter. I did relax and color her hair. Uh, in the same day, but I did not lighten her hair. I just used a color eraser to, um, you know, take the color out of her hair. And then I'm going to go ahead with my black neck strips to lay her down because we did not, you know, she did get a relaxer, but because her hair is color treated, you cannot do that hair like bone straight or straight, leave the relaxer on like you would if, uh, you know, she wasn't relaxed. So if you do that, you will over process the hair, over process the hair. And when you get ready to shampoo, you'll be shampooing that hair right on out her head in the sink. So we didn't want that. And it's really not needed. You know, once you style and put the heat on and everything, you don't have to have that hair so straight because all it is is just gonna damage the hair. And also have to say this disclaimer again. I do not teach, um, get into, you know, details about haircutting here on YouTube. I can't give you guys everything for free. But if you would like to um, schedule a one-on-one -on -one or a virtual styling session, you can do so by um, contacting me via my website. The website is themasterstylist.com. And in the top, I think it says education. And then from there, you can go ahead and pay for your session. And then someone will email you with available dates. Classes are given on Mondays only. 
and I, this is March, so I think I have, oh, I'm sorry, this is not March, this is February, so I don't have any dates available for this month, but March uh, is available, not March 4th, but any day, any other Monday after that is available, so you guys go ahead and you know, get your education in. You know, you can't expect YouTube to teach you everything. Sometimes you got to, you know, you got to pay to get what you want, what you really need. But YouTube is a great outlet. You know, I picked up a lot of stuff and um, some some good techniques and little tips from YouTube. But it's not the same as sitting down in the actual class and learning. So you guys know that I'm going to go ahead and use my <laughs> half inch red by kiss titanium flat iron. I do have a link to that flat iron on my Amazon list. And it's just a list of things that I use in the salon and here on YouTube from time to time. Uh, it's some great things on there. All of the products, tools, everything that I use is right on that list. And you can go ahead and, and purchase right off the list. Also, I am using H2 Pro's micro iron for her sides. I have that also inside of my Amazon list. Uh, you can purchase it there. Um, it's probably the, uh, the iron that I've been using the most for the sides. Uh, I've used several ones, but this one is, is great. <laughs> it's three temps, so it's a little bit smaller than a half inch and it is wonderful <laughs> uh, i've tried some other ones but eh -eh, this one works better So now I'm just going to take my fingers and just play with it, loosen up some of those curls in the top and on the side so everything is not so uniform. You know, we love a messy, spiky look. And that is pretty much it. And then I'm going to take my, I'm taking my flat iron and kind of putting some of those curls in uh, other directions because, you know, we don't like everything going the same way. Thank you. 
And I'm going to take Bedhead's Wax Stick. That is also on my Amazon list. You know, and go ahead and form the, that hairline and make everything sleek and slick. You know, so when your client lay down or when you lay down, if you're doing it on yourself, uh, you know, your hair will be in place. Not that much later, so I this is the final tomorrow. look. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for future notifications. I love you guys so, so very much. And I will see you again for the next right, video. Thank <laughs> you.